Sarosh here back in the video and this video I am going to show you how you can make a F450 size quadcopter so this can be used for many purposes you can just use it for flying or shooting some amazing aerial videos so let's get started okay so for this build I am going to use uh, some 1200 kV motors these are standard motors brushless and for this type of quad you can use from 800 to 1200 kV motors that is the best choice for you some 30 amp PSCs and I have soldered directly the bullet connectors to the contacts of it so you can save some wire and some weight as for the flight controller I am using the APM 2.8 it is a very good flight controller you can add anything to it sonar, GPS servos etc which I will be showing you later on my channel uh, FSI 6 receiver with the uh, leads and the FSI 6 transmitter of course and a standard F40 frame so let's get started okay so first so we have to solder the ESCs onto these pads and you can see that this is a power distribution board and you can get a frame without a power distribution board but uh, this is a little more convenient for you so let's solder the ESCs Okay, so now that we have solar all of our ESCs in the correct place and just double check that the negative is connected to the negative and the positive is connected to the positive because a single second current will totally destroy our ESC. So now take your motors and keep in mind that the, with the black knobs which opens clockwise are the clockwise so they will spin clockwise and the one with the silver knob like that they will open counterclockwise so like that so they will spin counterclockwise so keep in mind that and now let's mount the motors in the base and before you do check that these two holes are slightly further than these two and match them with these holes in the frame and make sure to check it before you buy it so mount the motors on the frame Another thing to notice is that if you mount the clockwise motor for the counterclockwise motor here, you cannot mount the same motor right next to it. So like that I have mounted the counterclockwise motor here and you cannot mount this right here or right there. You need to mount it opposite of it so that in that arm. So this motor will go right here. So we need to here mount this motor. Okay so as you have seen that I do not mount all the four screws because due to some quality control they do not align perfectly so I have to mount somewhere 2, somewhere 3 like that and if your luck is great you can mount all 4 of them in the correct place now what we have to do is connect these bullet connectors to the ESCs and it doesn't matter how you connect them just connect them and we can just swap just 2 of them if the motor is spinning in the wrong direction so let's do that now
after that just use some zip ties to tighten the ESCs in place so they will not move around ok so after mounting the top plate now you can use your shock absorber and please use this because we are using the internal compass of the APM and due to the vibration it can cause some trouble so use the shock absorber which will reduce the vibrations on the board so you can use some zip ties to tie it in place okay so once you have placed it right and make sure that it is tight enough that it will not move then you can just remove the double sided tape like that and then just mount the board on top of it or stick it so make sure it is straightened enough and then just press it in in place like that now to connect the ESCs this will be the first motor this will be the second and then this is the third and this is the fourth so connect the ESCs according to the order so let's take the first ESC right here and connect it, connect it to the output which is output 1 so just connect to the output 1 then the second ESC connect it to the output 2 the third ESC to the output 3 like that and then just the last ESC the fourth ESC to the output 4 and you can just clean the mess up later now turn your cord around and then connect the receiver so take your receiver and connect the servo leads to it or the jumper wires whatever you like to call it and then you can see that there is a numbering of channels which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and you can connect it in the same order so take the number 1 and connect it to the number 1 and make sure that the white is always the signal and it will always run inside the board so it is like sideways so the top pin is the will be more inside than the last so the inside is always the jump the signal pin same with the second just connect it and then just place your receiver somewhere very well if they like like I want to place it right here so you can just remove the double side tape and just stick it in place ok so once we have made all the connections necessary for the basic flight now we can go ahead and program the APM Ok so now on your computer go ahead and open the mission planner software So I will right here Now connect the APM to the laptop or the computer Ok so now you can open up the device manager And from here you can see that there is a new option the ports So you can just click on it and see that which com port is your APM plugged in so it's com6 now remember the port now you can just go to the port selection and here is left com5 and the uh, rate is already set now you can click and click to connect so it will get all the data necessary for the connection now it is getting the parameters Okay, so now we are connected to the APM. Now you can go to the initial setup. And from here, you can go click on the wizard. So it will open up a window. Now from here, you can select the type of drone which you want to fly. For me, it is the X quad. So I'm going to select that. Then click next. Now in the X, there are a lot of configuration. So this is the plus one, and here is the H quad, and we are using the X frame so we are going to just select it, this now we are going to calibrate the APM accelerometer so just go ahead and click on start ok so when the first calibration is done then you can click on continue now it is telling you to keep the drone on the left side so let's go ahead and do that right now And while holding it on the right side, just click on continue. Then it will ask you to put it on your left or the right side. Sorry. Then 
turn the quad 180 degree and place it on the right side and then click continue then it is saying to lose down the quad so just level the quad from the front side and make sure that the front side is facing the surface then click on continue and then same with the opposite side so let you turn the quad 180 degree and do it again now place the quad wholly upside down so just place it on the surface like that and then click on continue and now the calibration is done and you can just click your quad to the level surface once the calibration is done click on next now this is the compass calibration option so you can calibrate your compass from here so click on live calibration now it will show up a dialog box to make sure that you move the quad proper all around the all axis so click on ok now you can see that there is a little graph a 3d graph over here so right now you need to turn your take a quad and start spinning it so it will collect all the data as necessary so it will get all the parameters of the z and y axis and once it has all the parameters necessary it will automatically stop so make sure to rotate your ball all around ok so it will tell you that the mean offsets are set so you can click on ok and then click on next now it is the battery monitor configuration and currently we are not using the battery monitor so we are going to just skip it and then you are directly to the sonar settings and we are not using the currently right now so just skip you can just skip that too now it is the radio calibration so to calibrate the radio just click on continue and go ahead and turn on on radio so as you can see that it is binded with the receiver already so just go to the calibrate radio option and click on ok make sure that all the props are off so right now you can move your throttle and the rudder and the elevator sticks to their maximum extent all the switches so that it will set the, all the parameters to the maximum limits of the joysticks once you are happy with your joystick moving then click then click on this button which says click when done ok so now you need to make sure that the sticks are centered and the throttle is down so I have done it right now and then click on ok then click on next now here we can say select the flight mode so for me I have choose the save stabilized position mode and return to launch so these three options I will always keep in mind and then they are super simple and simple options which you can choose so we are going to just leave them like that and click on next now this will verify that you have the GPS and compass options so we are not going to use it the GPS so it is in red block we can just add the GPS and time data so just click on next now this is the fail safe option then we are going to just skip that because you know you can just ensure how much time you want to fly with the quad so just click on next now this is the geofence settings it can only be done by using a GPS so just skip it right now and click next now it will show some credit scenes and then you can click on finish ok so now you have programmed the APM ok so once you have programmed the APM and check the motor rotation you can just now simply mount the props ok now I have mounted all the props and make sure that if this is the front this will be the clockwise prop and this will be the anti-clockwise prop so mount the clockwise prop here and here and the anti-clockwise prop here and here ok so now your drone is complete now you can go ahead and fly it